Hello friends, as 2020 comes to an end, it is time for the long-awaited Phoebe's Anime Oscars. Last year, when I made my top 10 anime of 2019, I began by saying my subscriber count, which was 32 subscribers. As of the end of 2020, I am proud to say that we have grown to a massive 170 subscribers, which is insane for me. There is really no way to show my gratitude to you guys, but I want you to know that I am grateful for all the milestones which have happened throughout the year. Back when I made my 2019 list, I didn't include any seasonals mainly because I rarely watched any, but this year, we will have a focus on seasonal anime release this year. So stay until the end, because maybe your favorite seasonal anime will appear at some point throughout this video. Starting off, we'll be giving away awards for the various anime categories before going into some more specific awards, including the most important award, the one for Best Girl. We're going to begin with the award for the all-time best romance anime of 2020. Now romance is my favorite category, so you know I have selected only the best of the best for this list just to make sure that the best results occur. The nominees for best romance anime are Tanikawa, Love is War, Rent a Girlfriend, and Origaru. Right off the bat, we have an intense competition as Origaru was featured in my top 10 anime of 2019, but how will it hold up against all of these other series? Tanakawa made this list for its drastic change it made to the formula of romance animes by making the characters a couple right off the bat, Love is War made the list due to its second season being even better than the first, Rent a Girlfriend made the list due to its interesting characters and their interactions between each other, and finally, Origuru has made it here due to amazing conclusion to a well-established series. Now, it's finally time to declare what exactly was the best romance anime of 2020, and the winner is Rent a Girlfriend The reason I picked Rent a Girlfriend was because out of all the anime mentioned here, it had the best characters and I overall enjoyed watching its episodes a whole lot more as Origuru had a slow start and Love is War got a little bit repetitive if you watch it directly after the first season. Alright, now that we have my favorite genre out of the way, let's talk about the generic isekai which comes out every year. You may not believe me now, but I really didn't watch much isekai this year, but I'll still say what I've nominated. For the isekai of 2020, we have Digimon Adventure 2020, By the Grace of the Gods, The Misfit of Demon Academy, and Digimon Last Evolution Kizuna. I wasn't kidding when I said I haven't watched that many, which is why Digimon appeared on this twice. Anyways, Digimon Adventure 2020 made the list for being an interesting reboot to a well-established series, by the grace of the gods made the list due to it being a nice wholesome option to the isekai genre, the misfit of Demon Academy for it not only being loosely considered an isekai, but also for being a really fun watch, and Digimon Last Evolution Kizuna made the list for being a conclusion to one of my favorite childhood shows. And the winner for Best Isekai is... Digimon Adventure Last Evolution Kizuna. The reason I chose this anime above all was due to how great the animation was along with the music and fan service included, creating one masterpiece of a film. P.S. I didn't cry while watching it, I swear. Moving on, the final genre I would like to talk about is the action and adventure genre. I decided to combine these two together as they are basically always found together in the tags of these types of anime. The amazing anime I decided to nominate for this genre is Majo no Tabatabai, A Certain Scientific Railgun T, HX Eros, and Senyoku no Secret Difa. These nominees might seem all over the place, but trust me, these are well worth your time. I chose Majo no Tabatabai mainly because of it being one of the best adventure anime I have ever seen. I chose Railgun T due to some amazing action scenes along with some other reasons you can find in my Raildex review, HX Eros for being the best Ichi action anime of the season, and Senuno C. Gradifa for standing out by having its action mostly based around aerial combat. Although I really liked all four of these anime for completely different reasons, only one can stand on top. I believe the best action adventure anime of 2020 is Majo no Tabatabai. 
I believe Majo no Tabata by separated itself from the rest of the competition by being able to change its tone between episodes so fluently while also keeping the audience invested throughout the episodes. Now that I have gone through the various genres that came out this year, I believe it's time to give away some of the more specific awards. To begin, I am going to give out the award for the best opening theme of 2020. I decided to nominate Daddy Daddy Do from Love Is War, Centimeter from Rent a Girlfriend, Flyers High from Senyo Kuno Sigurdifa, and Koino Uda from Tanakala. Although I wish there was more I could include, I unfortunately had to limit it to only four songs. I personally love all of these songs, but only one can be crowned the best anime opening of 2020, and this opinion might be a little bit controversial, but I have to give it to Flyers High. This opening might be a little bit of a niche one, but it always managed to hype me up for every episode, encouraging me to keep returning to its respective anime. Along with Best Opening, I have to give an award for Best Ending Theme of 2020. If I'm being honest, there were so many amazing ending themes released this year to the point where it was extremely difficult to pick one to take the number one slot, but I have finally decided to nominate these four. Blue Rose Nose from By the Grace of the Gods, Hiro no Saga from Majo no Tabata Bai, Koku Haka Bungie Jump from Rent a Girlfriend, and Diamond no Jundo from Orgaru. All three of these openings really stood out to me from the rest, but I have decided on one to take the crown for best ending of 2020. The song I have chosen is Blue Rose Nose. Although the anime which goes along with this anime is admittedly not the best, I kept on getting so excited watching every episode just to hear this song. I just love the overall feel of this song, thus I decided to award it the best anime ending of 2020. The next award I would like to give out is to the anime with the best animation of 2020. I believe that this is a very important award as animation is one of the key elements, which keeps the audience invested from the very start. The anime which I nominated for the best animation of 2020 are Love is War, The Misfit of Demon Academy, Majo no Tabata Bai, and Digimon Last Evolution Kizuna. All four of these anime have completely different art styles and stand out for completely different reasons, which makes all of them special, but there was one which had a style that stood out to me. I decided that the best animation of 2020 was found with it. Digimon Last Evolution Kizuna. The reason I decided to select this anime above all of them was because its animation felt the most refined as it was a movie. One award I really wanted to give out was one which I could make sure I wasn't biased to, which was the community chosen best anime of 2020. This vote was hosted on my Twitter, so make sure to follow me at Feed the Weeb if you wish to participate in next year's rendition. This vote was between Love is War, Tanakawa, Majo no Tabata Bai, and Rent a Girlfriend. Based on the submissions by you guys, I have come to a winner. Well actually, there isn't just one winner, Twitter has come to a tie between Love is War and Rent a Girlfriend. Due to this, I have decided to give both of them the award. Congratulations to both of them for being the most popular within the community. It's finally time for the moment you all have been waiting for, who is the best girl of 2020. The nominees for Best Girl are Mizuhara Chizuru from Rent a Girlfriend, Sakura Sawasumi, who is also from Rent a Girlfriend, Misha Nekron from The Misfit of Demon Academy, and Elena from Majo no Tabata Bai. This one was really close, but only one can be the best girl. And the winner is... Harukano Gizaka. Okay, so there was an error in the ballots, the real winner is... Sumi Sakurasawa from Rent a Girlfriend. Congratulations to Sumi for winning Best Girl of 2020. Now that the awards have been given out, it's time to declare what is the best anime of 2020, this will be decided based on which anime has received the most awards. After reviewing all the data collected, the clear winner, and best anime of 2020 is Rent a Girlfriend with three awards. 
Congratulations to Rent a Girlfriend for being the best anime of 2020. As this video comes to a close, I would like to say that 2020 has had so many amazing animes which have come out and I am really in no place to judge, so please take my opinions with a grain of salt. I would love to hear what you guys think is the best anime of 2020 down in the description of possibly future contenders for next year. I would like to thank you all for sticking with me throughout 2020, and as always, until next time, bye.